Hey everybody, I was just uh, back here, back on my feet and uh, getting looking over the plantation. Now, unfortunately this year I didn't get to plant those beds we're looking at right there. and so They come back with flowers every year if I don't till it up and whatnot. And, well, as you know, I had a valid excuse. But um, yeah, things are looking good back here. We've got this great big old tulip poplar right here, which is uh, growing like a weed. I've already cut it down three times and this year it, just, it went right past me because I was down for five months little sweet gum started I don't know if I'll keep him that water willow is getting to be a pain in my ass and it's well my fig tree is absolutely enormous now it's nearly as big as a house but uh, I just want to go over a uh, quick little update on my legs As you can see I'm standing right here without a cane or anything unfortunately um, I do need a little more surgery in, in probably both the legs uh, which is you know really shitty but that's how it goes when someone runs a minivan into you. And I just thought maybe I would get the uh, get the old dogs working again, get out there in the woods. It's uh, bow season, and uh, I have a deer bedding down right back there, right behind the muscadines. And that is on my property, so uh, I might just wait and set her up. Uh, I don't know what I'll do. It's uh, there's I've noticed there's bunches and bunches of little uh, antlerless deer and stuff running around the neighborhood now. They don't come out of it ever. Uh, one got one got hit on Buford Highway over by the Duluth Police Station, and it's laying over there to this minute, dead on the sidewalk. It's unfortunate it was a fawn, but that sucker's laying, just laying dog-legged on the sidewalk. Been there for two days. Nobody, not a cop, not a sanitation worker, nobody. Come in and even bother kicked it off the curb or anything. It's just sitting rotten in front of the city hall, so I thought that was pretty damn funny. But uh, another one I wanted to go back on is what I'm going to be taking out with me in the woods. Now, I do... Still have quite a hitch of my step, like Bad Frank from uh, Hatfield McCoys. So uh, I I need I need a cane to walk around with. Um, I did do a little hiking the other day and uh, didn't find it too incredibly ass kicking. And so I wanted to go ahead and show you Leon's new survival cane. Get you a good long look at that. Now I did all this up myself. I made it from a Walgreens cane. But it had this big, I mean, the entire thing is hollow. And I was like, I've got to be able to do something with that. So here is the survival cane. A little heavier than I remember it. Button compass, carabiner. 15 feet of paracord. Remington Sportsman knife. Great knife, by the way. Quick lash off. It's got, inside of it, it's got two packages of quick clot. In the foot, it's got a box of storm stormproof matches and a little striker just all rattling around in there it's got a Swiss Army knife in it it's got a lighter in it it's got guitar strings that can be used as snares it's got a little pre-rigged uh, about 20 feet of uh, fishing line with a hook and uh, you know a sinker and everything already on it and uh, a couple things band-aids whatnots miscellaneous action and a mosquito net it has a mosquito net that goes around my head right up near near the handle and the only thing I've got to still left to do to it is I need to make a, hand, a a little piece of coat hanger with a hooked end on it so that I can fish all that stuff back out of there because it is kind of in there tight and it, you, know, you can't stick your finger up there so uh, a, a little piece of coat hanger you know run up alongside of it with a little hook end on it will suffice just nicely but I'm gonna put it back down for you what we have here on this boot is uh, I got a space blanket for it because I figured it you know it was like the one in my bug out bag it's like you know five square foot or something you know and you could just roll it up into a tiny ball and stick it in there but unfortunately I could not get that suck bitch to get in there any which way so I opted to just add you know use another length of about 10 feet of paracord and lash it to it and that way it can it can be the first thing when I take when I hit that button right there and take it apart I can just slide that right off and I've got a uh, you know string the line up between two trees put some rocks on the edges and that's like a serious serious space blanket right there I mean it's, that's like a 10 square foot space blanket so I thought that was pretty cool but there you have it folks Leon is back and that's his survival cane <laughs> 